want to make the best banana cake? Ingredients 1 and a half cups flour 1 tablespoon baking soda 1 tablespoon baking powder 1 cup sugar 1 cup milk 2 eggs Margarine 3 ripe bananas First things first, let's heat up the milk. Not too hot, just warm. The second step is to carefully peel the ripe bananas and place them on a plate before mashing those bananas till they get smooth and even. We wouldn't want our cake to have some chunks of bananas, don't we? So, it's best to do it right the first time. Now we start mixing the ingredients. We start with the addition of two tablespoons of margarine and one cup of sugar and mix the two ingredients till there's some sort of unity between the margarine and the sugar. If there is then you can now continue with adding the eggs. This time you must mix as thorough as possible. As soon as you get a watery mixture, then it means that you are doing it right and you can move to the next step. Then you can add the banana paste that you mashed up into the bowl and mix well to get a uniform mixture. We really want our ingredients to mix well, if not the cake will be no cake at the end. Afterwards, add your one huge cup of milk and remove any lumpings. It can be just one or three, even ten. Just remove them before adding your one and a half cups of flour, a tablespoon of baking soda, and the same amount of baking powder. Be sure to mix them as thorough as possible. The mixture at the end should be thick, but not too thick. Also, you can state in the comment section where you are watching from, Either you are from Kenya, Argentina, India, or the United States of America, let us know, and we'll be sure to give a shout out to you in the next video.
If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Also, you can hit the notification button so that you will never stay behind when I post my amazing recipes. This step is important as the chef of the kitchen can easily care for your cake as it bakes. Using margarine smear every inch of your pot with it, you can feel free to use your finger, then use some flour, a pinch of it, and go all around your pan. Even though we will be baking using low heat, all this is done in order to avoid burning your cake. Nobody likes eating burnt cake, especially the black part. After carefully pouring the paste from the bowl and into the pot, I think it's baking time. Light up your oven and then just wait for around three minutes for your oven to heat up before placing the cake inside. From time to time, you can take a peep to make sure that nothing is going sideways. Apart from that, I would say that if your baking time falls between 40 minutes to an hour, that's perfect timing. Are you ready for your final product?